Grand Rising, happy Friday. Oh, I'm so thankful to be here. Thank you, God, for bringing me here to see this Friday. Oh, yeah, so it has been a wonderful, wonderful week. It's been a wonderful week, and it's Friday, and we are here to see it. So, yeah, um, I am just feeling so cozy in my skin. <laughs> I am just so thankful for my journey. I'm thankful for everything that has brought me to be in my skin today. <sighs> the reason I say that is because life has been a journey for me in my skin. Um, I was never, I wasn't always happy with how I looked, and that was my appearance. Um, and there was nothing wrong with how I looked. I just wasn't happy with me. Um, I was uncomfortable in my skin. And then when I was diagnosed with breast cancer, that right there definitely, definitely socked me in my chest because I, I'm single now. I was single then. So being a single woman and being me and having other friends that were in relationships and having children, you know, I wanted children. I wanted that, you know, my siblings, they have children and I'm the firstborn, I'm the eldest and I don't have that. So that was one of the things that I had to struggle with on my journey is not being able to do that. So also I have to have a double mastectomy on my journey. So that's an amputation of your breasts. Um, so if you don't know that, that is something that you have learned today. So yeah, I had to do that. Um, also, I couldn't just get, recon I got reconstruction, but then it failed. So that means that they had to take out the expander that I had and that was removed. And then after that, I had to go through radiation. Also, I went through chemotherapy. So it's a lot of things that have happened to my body that I was not comfortable about. It was my uncomfortable truth. Um, going through radiation, um, I talked about that the other day, it burns your skin. Um, so it starts, they're burning you from the inside and it comes to the surface. And then for me, my skin, it was a burn. So the skin came off and I was raw for a while. So I had to deal with that on my journey. Also, I just received, I just, had my reconstruction, my final reconstruction in November, November 1st, 2021. So that journey, I am praying that that's it. I don't need any more surgeries. I am so thankful that I have experienced the reconstruction and it is complete now. And so now I'm, I'm comfortable. So I have, I live to this day with a implant on my left breast. And I had a, the flap surgery where they took the muscle from my back and they used that to be my right breast. So I do have scars all over me. Also, when I was a kid, I had a dislocated hip. And so I had to be in the hospital for a week. I've had two surgeries in my childhood being put to sleep so I have a long, I have a huge scar on my hip. So yeah, I have been through a lot. And then also with the chemotherapy, it totally destroys your insides and makes you feel like that. Um you have to go through the bone pain. A lot of women and a lot of men who have gone through chemotherapy, they deal with bone pain, especially if they're taking the medication after like I am. I'm on two medications at this time. And it gives you bone pain. So that's why I'm moving around right now because it makes me, I feel so much better when I work out my body. So I'm so thankful that God is pushing me every day to get up in the morning and move this body because when I get up, it's stiff. My back is stiff. Um, it's hard when I step down onto the ground, it feels like I'm touching bone on bone. So I have to move my body. 
because you have to give it that jump start because it feels like a corpse. I'm sorry if that freaks you out, but that's how I feel in the morning. And I don't know what death feels like, but I can only imagine what a corpse feels like because it's stiff. And so that's how I am every every morning. So in order for me to get out of that stiffness, I have to get up and move this body. So yeah. And then also I lost my hair. <laughs> I Going through chemotherapy, you lose your hair. And then one of the things about me on my journey is uh, being a cosmetologist. I love to, I did hair weaves. I did those really good. So I have alopecia. I inherited it as well because um, I had it in my childhood. I had a, received a bald spot um, at an early age and I forget, it's al alopecia areata. But anyways, I have had a journey when it comes to me and my whole body, my situation. And then also in order for me to receive my um my last surgery which was the reconstruction i had to lose weight so i had to lose 100 pounds on this journey of mine because it ain't just a cancer journey it's my life journey so in order for me to actually receive my completion <laughs> i had to lose 100 pounds so that tell you right there Life is a journey, but I am so comfortable in my skin. I am so thankful. I am so happy and I am so blessed because this is the body that God created for me. And I am just so thankful that I'm able to walk around in my body because a lot of people are losing parts. A lot of people are losing lives and they can't wait. They're not waking up to say that. <laughs> So yeah, I am thankful that I am comfortable in the skin I'm in. And I want you to be comfortable in your skin. I want you to be comfortable with who you are. Because if you're not comfortable, then that means that you need to change some things about you and stop complaining about you. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're going to complain about you, then how are you going to change? Now, I understand that you have to start with the complaint because then that's when you recognize the something that you need to change about yourself. So when you do that, find out how to do that. Find out how to change. That's what I had to do on my journey. I had to recognize a lot of things about my inner self that I did not like, my inner demons. And so when you start battling those inner demons because you want to do it for the greater good, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then everything works out for the greater good because you are the greater good so you have to recognize that you can be the greater good for you and you can have peace with yourself you should be comfortable in your skin at all times okay because if you're not comfortable in your skin then you need to change some things about you <laughs> A lot of times it's nothing wrong with our outer shell. It's us on the inside we need to work on. It's our inner thoughts. Those are dangerous if you let them become dangerous. So don't do that to yourself. When you recognize that you're thinking incorrectly, change the way you think. Think about it. God don't tell you to think negative about yourself, okay? He will never do that. God is love. So understand that if you have a thought that's negative, about you that makes you uncomfortable in the skin that you're in redirect look in the mirror tell yourself no not today satan not today so that's how you do that okay and be comfortable with you ask god to help you if you believe in him because i do um yeah i just say you know god just help me to always accept me for who i am 24 hours a day seven days a week when i go to bed at night when i wake up in the morning just always allow me to be happy with who i am and never take that from me let me always stand up for who i am at all times let me always speak on my behalf and not anyone else because only i know who i am okay so those are the things that you should say so you can be a better you and you can be comfortable and cozy in the skin that you're in. Take it from me, your champion. Yes, I'm up and I'm at it again, okay? And I got up early this morning in the skin that I am in, okay? And I am thankful. Thankful for that. <sighs> All right, y'all. Happy Friday again. And 
do something great, change your perspective on your thoughts today and be happy with who you are. I love you. See you tomorrow.